by the way, if you care about spoilers for Subnautica, if you would like to, like, not see that spoiled, don't watch this video. But if you are okay with that, go ahead. Hope you enjoy. Hey, it's been a while. Regardless, I decided that I want to make a bit of a different video today, so I decided to do something incredibly stupid. I built bases connecting all the way from the life pod to the lava lakes in Subnautica. If you want to skip straight to the time lapse of me walking through these tunnels, just go ahead and skip to here. But uh, if you don't mind sticking around for the nitty gritty and the whole process, I guess, um, yeah, hi. To start out, I had to plan a bit of a route. So, in a separate world, I laid out beacons across the map at each Lost River entrance, landmark, inactive lava zone entrance, and lava lakes entrance. The shortest route would have probably been um, from the mountains biome Lost River entrance to the inactive lava zone pit, but I decided to take a bit of a scenic route. So I took the route of traveling to the Blood Kelp zone, going through that respective Lost River entrance, the Lost River junction, into the Tree Cove, going down and around the inactive lava zone entrance there, and into the small crater that leads directly into the lava lakes. Now that I had a route, the next step was to lay out some more specific beacons in a new save that I would use to aim my buildings. When I started laying things out, I realized that the grid-like building system in Subnautica that allows you to snap your buildings to each other um, meant that you could only build in four horizontal directions. Later on, this didn't matter as much, and I simply broke up the bases into three, but I thought it was going to be a huge problem if I didn't align everything at first. This led me to make a beacon square with the blood cup one of my life pod, which meant that the base could just go in, for the most part, a straight line all the way to the primary containment facility. Straight line being more of staying in that square box grid, whatever. This also produced a small curve to the base, but that, that didn't prove to even be entirely necessary, but oh well. Creating the base turned out to be a bit of a nightmare, to be honest, but that was to be expected. I mean, for God's sake, I was building a structure for kilometers by hand. Anyways, the process itself took about five hours to complete, and I built sections as long as I could before I felt like they should be brought down with a vertical section. Around the 1200 meter mark, though, I noticed the game was really starting to chug every time I placed a new horizontal section. And by the time I actually reached the Blood Kelp to Lost River entrance, it took literal seconds to even load each new building once I placed it. This made me really nervous, so I started frequently saving, and eventually I just got really worried about the stability of the game. Um, and so I decided to start a entirely new sea base, separate from the previous one's grid, and just connect the two with hatches. So yeah, you can't go down in one straight line, you know, never leaving the building, but it's close enough, and I'm okay with that. This really fixed my leg problem, and the rest of the time was just as easy as placing sections and zigzagging through the rest of the map. By the time I had reached the ending, the base was divided up into three sections, like I mentioned earlier, each getting to the point of severe leg upon building near the end, and I figured out that the vertical sections were, for the most part, responsible for most of these performance drops, which, um, the more I placed, the worse it got. And this made placement of the ladders terrifying, because it would freeze the game, and it was basically just like placing new vertical sections. However, I did make it back to the life pod somehow with zero crashes, and the base was complete. I don't really know what else to put in this video, I don't feel like filling it up, but if you would like to download this video and check it out yourself, a link will be in the description below. And for the end of this video, I'll show you guys a bit of a time lapse of the final product, walking from the life pod straight into the lava zones. Anyway, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see in the future, go ahead and comment down below. I'm going to read every comment. Alright, have a fantastic day guys, see you in the next one.